It is May of 1940. We have completed the integration of the 4WS and 2WS trims for Grand. Our customers starting in 1943 will have a new option of either a single or dual 40 mile range standard configuration. This will be released on the upcoming Cyrus midsize sedan and Solaris van. In 1946, the same configuration will grace the Molina Coupe. The 1941 Allure Bay R, Allure Cascade R, and ETD Hogback R will have new production lines. This is due to the new focus of e-performance's quality improvements of the S36, S36R, and S50 RS sports cars. To assist with this transition, we have upgraded the Miami, Florida, Allure factory with seven additional lines with a completion date of November the 1st, 1940. We have moved the Seek Roadster production to the new Indianapolis, Indiana Allure factory. We have increased the ETD Jacksonville, Florida production facility production lines by four with a completion date of September the 1st, 1940. The E-Performance factory will still continue to produce and engineer the ETD Hogback R unique platform, the 3.6 liter turbo V8, and the high performance manual transmission for the Bay R, Cascade R, and Hogback R. To help improve quality of the Bay R, Cascade R, and Hogback R, production will be limited to 200 to 300 units per month. E-Performance has started working on the high performance mid-engine rear wheel drive platform for the S36, S36R, and S50 RS sports cars with a completion date of 1946. The next projects that will be started by E-Performance will be the Allure Exquisite R and ETD Desser R. It is June of 1940. If we look at the pie chart, we are currently the largest auto manufacturer in the world at 25.3%. Opal is the second largest at 5.9%. Leland and Triumph are the third largest at 5.2%. And Vauxhall is at 4.9%. Now we're going to look at the companies we have some ownership of. Dodge Motor Company is down 1.329% with a closing price of $3.35. Emerson Eco is up 0.625% with a closing price of $66.36. Jeep is down 6.711% with a close of $3.79. Nano One is up 1.706% with a close of 25.73% and they have 3% of the market. Porsche AG is down 0.058% with a close of $1.08. Ram is down 5.082% with a close of $3.02. Detroit BR Motors, they have 1% of the market. Chrysler, they have 1.8% of the market. Century has 3% of the market. For the month of June, the Lark Coupe is the top selling car at 9,249 units. The Arvon C is the top selling pickup truck with just under 4,000 units. Lego is the top selling midsize sedan at 3,620 units sold. It is July of 1940. Have 24.9% of the market. Opal has 5.8% of the market. Classic Motors has risen to 5.4% of the market. Triumph has 5.2% of the market. Leland has 5.1% of the market. Now we're going to take a look at the companies that we have some ownership of. Detroit BR Motors has 1% of the market. 
Chrysler has 1.8% of the market, Century has 3% of the market, 901 has 3.1% of the market, Emerson Eco has 3.1% of the market too. As far as our district sales, we sold 84,580 two models in North America. We have just opened up a new branch in Bangkok, Thailand. As far as our monthly pension payment, is $4,518,555. We are going to put in $5 million. Our company has a has risen 20.628% with a closing price of $16.50. Century has risen 12.778% with a closing price of $27.32. Chrysler has risen by 4.977% up to $19.52. BR Motors has risen 27.015% for a closing price of $2.55. Dodge has risen 14.183% with a closing price of $3.83. Emerson Eco is down 20.834% with the closing price of $52.53. Jeep has risen 5.565% for a closing price of $4. Nash Cavenator has decreased by 1.151% for a closing price of $6.76. 901 has risen 10.923% with a closing price of $28.54. Porsche has decreased 0.063% with a closing price of $1.08. Ram has risen to 31.119% with a closing price of $3.96. We're currently now getting additional dividends from Century and Chrysler. Our 1916 employees that retire, our payout ending year is going to be next year in 1941. And for 1940, we have a decrease in our monthly payout amount from $367,601 down to Thank you.